Hi everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this is the first video in a series of tutorial videos I'm going to make for the Radio Master T8 Pro. This one here. Now it is a beginner's radio, so I'm gonna be going into the basics on it to show you how to set it up and how to program it. This video is to show you how to update the firmware. Now, when I downloaded the manual and went through it, it does state in there that if uh, you should really only update the firmware on this radio if there are functional adjustments. Well, normally there are a lot of adjustments in OpenTX, so it is worth doing. But if you're a beginner, what I would suggest is that you maybe don't do it yet. Uh, and then once you're more confident with it, then I would go ahead and do the up upgrades. Now, let's switch over to my computer. The first thing I'd like to show you is how I set my directories up so that I organize my files. I mean, this is basic stuff, but let me just go through the whole procedure that I do. So I've set up a folder called Radio Master T8 Pro, and in there, I've got a folder for internal module firmware releases, for OpenTX firmware releases, for my radio backups, and for my SD card contents. Now, you'll see the uh, appropriateness of having these directories in just a moment. Now I need to go and download the OpenTX Companion program. So we're going to go to my browser. All the links will be in the description below. I'm going to go to OpenTX. And then you can see the latest release, 2312, which is now supports the T8 radio. So we're going to click there. And you can see all the adjustments from the previous release. Now to get the Companion, we need to go to click one of these links here. You can see we're in the download links and you can see there's Linux, there's the Mac and there's the Windows. Now I've already installed it, but I'm going to go and download this. Oops, I've downloaded it twice. Let's stop that. So it's downloading at the top there. And there we go. So now I'm going to go to my downloads file or whichever file you save your files into and there it is now all you'll need to do is double click it and then install it just like any other program now we've installed OpenTX companion let's launch it now the first thing we need to do is go and set up our radio within the companion program now if i go to okay you see it's telling me there is an up, update we're going to just ignore that for a second i'm going to say no and ignore this version no we don't want to ignore it so we're going to go to settings and if we go to radio profiles, you can see all my radios there. I've already set up the Radio Master T8 Pro. So you would say add a profile and then this window will pop up. And in here we are going to, my choice is going to be to say no heli. Um, I don't think you can fly helicopters with this radio, but anyway, we're going to take off, uh, uh, uncheck no heli, and I'm going to put Lua scripts on my radio. Now, we need to set up the structure path for our SD card contents. Now, if we say select folder, and I'm going to go to my radios. Now, you'll see why we set up the directories earlier. If we tap in there, uh, we should say SD card, now in here, I need a new folder, uh, which is going to say, now what do I do is say SD card contents in radio. The relevance of this will come in in the next video when I show you how to set up your SD card contents. So we're just going to click there and we're going to select that one and say select folder. Now the backup folder, we're going to say select folder and this time we're going to go to our radio backups for the TA Pro and say select. Right. Now the relevance of everything down here, I fly mode one. Now if you are, if someone's going to teach you, you will need to set this up to whichever mode they use. Most people, I must say, use mode two. I'm old school. I've been flying for a long time. So I fly mode one. And my default channel mapping is AETR. Now, if you're a beginner, I would maybe suggest leaving that as standard, unless you've never flown before, and I prefer AETR. So that's everything we need to set up in it. I don't use this, I don't change my splash screen, so I'm not gonna go into that. So now we just push okay. 
Now let's connect our T8 to the computer. What we need to do though is if we get a pen or a pencil, we need to hold down this button here, the bind button, and turn the power on. This will put the radio into bootloader mode, which will allow it to connect to the computer. So we hold the button down, hold, and then let go. And you'll now see it's coming up with right firmware, restore EEPROM exit. So just leave it as it is. We are now gonna plug in our USB cable, which we can do with the monitor on. We just need to pull this little tab out the way. Plug in our USB cable, here we go, and then into our computer. And you can hear the computer has detected it. Okay, now we should be able to back up the radio. So read, if we go look down here at these icons, if we point at it, it will show us what that does. So this is read models and settings from radio. I'm gonna click that and you'll see now, there's only one, there's no models on this radio at the moment because it is brand new. Now, once this comes up, we can say file, save as, go to our directory for our radios and we're gonna go into the T8 Pro and I'm gonna to go to backups and what I'd normally do is say here for the first one that this is the original firmware. Uh, sorry, bigger pardon, original backup. So that tells me it's the first one when I first received the radio. This will allow us to put it back to what the settings were when we got the radio. This is important. You must make sure you do this. Once you updated your firmware and everything's working fine, you'd then be able to um, just, you would have uh, had the firmware anywhere from the previous version because you would have downloaded it. So we're gonna say save. Now we can close this window and we're now gonna read the firmware from the radio. So there's write firmware to radio, this is read. So we're gonna click this and I'm just gonna go into the right directory which is this one, the right folder. And I'm gonna say, OpenTX firmware releases. And we're gonna say save. That's it, read the firmware. So now we can verify this by going to our folders and making sure that's in there. This is important because if you get a problem, you can then go back. So we should have open TX releases. We should have the original firmware. And if we go into our radio backups, we should have original backup. So that's good. So now we can proceed. We still have our radio plugged in. So now let's update the firmware. So the first thing we're going to do is going to check for updates. Now this is what was important earlier that I said uh, no to this because, and then to the second option that I didn't want to ignore it, otherwise we won't get the update again. So you can see what we did earlier, it's, it's the T8 Lua No Heli, and it's telling us which version we've got. It says, do you want to download it? We're gonna say yes. Now we want to make sure it goes into the right folder that we set up earlier, which is our T8 Pro. There we go, and it's OpenTX firmware releases. You can see our original one. Um, now, what I normally do is put the release uh, in here. I change this. This is just a personal thing. Two, three, twelve, and we say save. And now we're downloading the firmware, so we should be good. Now let's go and have another look. Let me show you. The firmware should be there. Okay, radios. And there we go, there's our 2312 version of the firmware. Now we go back to OpenTX here, and we have now the computer knows where that file is. We can say now, write firmware to radio. So click. Now here, I would, all this, it should have picked up the right one. You can check here, 2312. Um, this is the relevant data it's picking up from the uh, file itself. Use firmware as a start, we'll leave that as it is and I check check hardware compatibility. Now we're gonna click right. Everything's looking good.
Okay, it says flashing is done. Don't stop this process unless you're really sure it's finished. It says it's flashing is done. We're gonna say okay. Now we can unplug our radio. Now let's turn our radio on. Let me put this so that you can see this. And if we hold, and there we go. We've got a throttle warning. Just put the throttle down. That happens if your throttle's up and we should be good to go there. That's the phone we put onto our radio. Now the next video I'm going to do is showing you how to set up the SD card contents because you notice when the radio turned on it didn't say anything and normally an OpenTX radio will say welcome to OpenTX. So that's the next video uh, I will be making and you will be able to find out how to set up your SD card contents. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.